In this video, I'm going to show you how to post links in Google Sheets to your favorite social media sites and blogs in an automated fashion. We are going to use make.com and the affirmation API to get the Amazon affiliate links and post them to your social media networks and your blog. Before we start with the scenario, let's try to see how the Google Sheet is going to look like and what values we need to populate there. So I have a blank sheet created and with a title called as Amazon link. Then we'll go to Amazon and pick up the products that we want to post to our social media. So depending on the niche that you want to publish in, you can get the links from there. Say like if we take electronics as an example, these are the best sellers uh, right now. So we'll try to get a couple of links for our demo purpose and see how it is going to work. So we'll start with the air tag. All we are doing here is we are just copying this link from here and pasting it here. We'll get one more like the search protector. And we'll get one more like the airports. These links are not the actual affiliate link at the moment. But what we are going to do is we are going to generate our own customized link later on. Um, if you notice the links which are there, you will see something called as a DP and then you will see an um, uh, alphanumeric uh, number and alphabets after that. That is called as an ASIN. That's um, a unique identifier which Amazon uses for each and every product. So we are going to use this ASIN to generate our own affiliate links later on. So now that we have these populated here, we can go back to our make.com and start working on our scenario. Now that we have our Google Sheets data populated, now we'll start get started with the make.com scenario. We'll start creating a new scenario. The very first thing we'll add is the Google Sheets module and we will be using the watch new row. So every time we add a new row, it, get, it gets picked up automatically. So my connection is already done to Google Sheets and all we have to do is go here and pick up the sheet that we have just created. It is called as Amazon Affiliate Demo. and we are using sheet one it contains headers yes the row is the first row is the header and then we'll use the limit set to one and we will do all and okay in order to test it out we'll just run this module right now and see if it is picking up our link so yes that is the apple um, air tag is the first link that we had so that is what it's picking up the next step that we have to do uh, is, as I had mentioned earlier, we have to extract this link uh, from the link. We have to extract the ASIN, which is this B0D54. Um, that part portion is what we have to extract. In order to extract that, we have another module known as Match Pattern Advanced. This is basically a regular expression that we have to use to pull out the information from that link. Um, a regular expression is is a, a software term which you can use to match patterns inside a text um, and that is how we will be extracting that information out of there. So the pattern that we are going to use is going to look like this. And I'll explain to you how, how it works and the text that we are going to use is the Amazon link. So the way the pattern works is it says everything before till the point where you see DP and then the the alphanumeric characters after that is what we need to extract from the link. So this is this is going to help us just extract out the information for the ASIN. So now in, if we have to test it out, we'll 
copy a link from here just for a sample test and then we will do run this module paste the link here and ok so if you see from the link this was the id and this is what we have extracted here so this is how we've pulled out the the asin here now using this asin is we are going to use the affirmation api to get all the other details such as the the, the title the description the price which we will be posting to our social media networks the next step is to add the HTTP module in order to call the affirmation API. So the way we are going to do is we are going to use the HTTP module here in that we have an option to make a request. So this is what we are going to use to in order to call the affirmation API. So if you look at it, it it's expecting a URL, a method, some headers, the body type and whether we want to pass the response or not. So the the details which need to be filled out are as follows so affirmation api is something that um, helps us pull the information um, search the information as well as if we pass in the asin it will give us details about that one particular product so this is the endpoint that needs to be called the method will be post and in the headers we are we have to pass in two different headers one is called as content type which will be application slash json and the other is the api key which needs to be supplied to it in order to access the affirmation api um, in the body section um, we will be passing as raw and the content type will be application json and this is how the request would look like This is how the content, the request content would look like. If you see, we have to pass in an access key, a secret key, a partner tag, and the item IDs, which is the ASIN, and resources is the things that we want to get back from the response. So this access key, the secret key is, should be available in your Amazon affiliate um, settings page it is a unique key which which you will be generating out there and saving it um, and the partner tag is is something which ends with a dash two zero that is the one which will give you the exact um, commission uh, which needs to be there um, in the item ids we will be passing the fallback match so this is what we would be what we have extracted out of the link and we are going to call this API, get the other details. The other details that we are going to get is the title, pricing info, an image, and the line info. So line info has all the other details as well. So all that would be extracted here. I'll pause the video for a second and put in all the values so that we can test it out. Set all the parameters of the API key and the payload um, with the the secret key and the access key in here so now that we have we are going to take the fallback match value um, the asin that we had extracted and then we are going to call this with that value in order to get the response back so now that we got the response back if you expand on the output section data results items one you will see this is the link that it had generated and the images are available the link to the image is available here in the offers you will see the price that is available 69.99 and in the title you will see the air tag 4 pack and by line info you can get other informations as well like the manufacturer and things.
so th these values are customizable you can you can select whatever you want to post depending on that you will be able to get it i have put in the link to the affiliate the affirmation api in the description below if you would like to take a look at it then the link is available there the output here is customizable you could select whatever values you want to show on your social media or your on your blog the details are available on the affirmation uh, link uh, which i have posted in the uh, description below you could take a look at it and um, sign up for the service if you would like to do that now that we have all the values extracted from the api the next that we are going to add is our social media where we are going to post the affiliate links so we'll be adding a uh, social media site in this case i'll be adding pinterest um, in pinterest i'll be doing a create a pin i already have my connection established otherwise you'll have to click on add in our case we are posting an image url so this is what we'll select the image url we will obtain it from the output of the http module so we'll select the url of where the image is next if it's a standard image uh, post yeah it's a standard one for the board i have a demo board created uh, board section is empty in the title we'll be using the the output from the item info title the display value is what we'll be using here we could even add the savings if they are there we could even say add those values here in the description again we'll be putting in say like the title and save dollar amount dominant color and the link the link is from the details page url and that's it and then we'll say okay now that we are ready to test the entire scenario we'll start running it from the beginning so the first item that we will be posting would be the um, apple air tags so we'll do a run once and if you look at it it has gone through all the stages and it has published one link here so when we go to pinterest if we refresh it we should see our product <coughs> i should see our product posted here and we have the title we have the title and save the percentage values also pasted out here that's it for today uh, i hope you liked the video and if you need more information on how to use the affirmation api please visit the link in the description below and you will get more information on how to subscribe to that service and how to use it Thank you and see you in the next video.